In this video, we are going to explain how to find the exact value of a trigonometric expressions with angles in radians and degrees using the sum and difference formulas and identities of sine. There are two formulas that we need to remember when we are talking about the sum and difference formula of sine. The first one is sine a plus b, that is sine a times cosine b plus cosine a times sine b. And the second one is sine a minus b, that is sine a times cosine b minus cosine a times sine b. These are the formulas that we need to remember in order for us to find the exact value of a trigonometric expressions. So let's start and let's have an example. On the first example, we have sine 15 degrees. How can we use the sum and difference formula to evaluate sine 15 degrees? First, we need to identify two angles that can be add or subtract to 15, and that is 45 degrees and 30 degrees. If you are going to subtract 45 degrees and 30 degrees, we can get 15 degrees. Therefore, we are going to use the formula sine A minus B. Sine A minus B, that is sine A times cosine B minus cosine A times sine B. To simplify, let's have sine A, that is 45 degrees, minus 30 degrees. So this will be the value of A and this will be the value of B. So we have sine A that is 45 degrees times cosine B that is 30 degrees minus cosine A that is 45 and sine B that is 30 degrees. We all know that sine 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2. And cosine 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 2 minus cosine 45 that is square root of 2 over 2 and sine 30 degrees that is 1 half. Then to simplify, let's have here square root of 2 times square root of 3 that is square root of 6. And 2 times 2 is 4 minus square root of 2 times 1 that is square root of 2 over 2 times 2 is 4. Since we are subtracting fraction with the same denominator, let us copy the denominator, let's have 4, and let's write square root of 6 minus square root of 2. So this will be the value of sine 15 degrees, and this will be our answer. On example number 2, we have sine 105 degrees. What are the two angles that we can add or subtract to 105 degrees? Two common angles that we know on a unit circle, that is 60 degrees and 45 degrees. If we are going to add 60 and 45 degrees, we can get 105 degrees. Therefore, we are going to use the formula sine A plus B. And sine A plus B, that is sine A times cosine B plus cosine A times sine B. And then to simplify, let's have sine 60 degrees plus 45 degrees. This will be the value of A and this will be the value of B. Then we have sine A, that is 60 degrees, cosine B, that is cosine 45 degrees, plus Cosine A, that is 60 degrees. Sine B, that is sine 45 degrees. So let's simplify. Sine 60 degrees, that is square root of 3 over 2. And cosine 45, that is square root of 2 over 2. Plus cosine 60 degrees, that is 1 half. Multiply by sine 45, that is square root of 2 over 2. Then let's simplify. Square root of 3 times square root of 2, that is square root of 6. Then 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 times square root of 2, that is square root of 2, over 2 times 2 is 4. 
since we are adding fraction with the same denominator, let us copy the denominator. And let's add for let us say right square root of 6 plus square root of 2. So therefore, sine 105 degrees is square root of 6 plus square root of 2 over 4. And this will be our answer. And number 3, we have sine 2 pi over 3 minus pi over 6. As you can see, the given example is already written in the difference formula of sine. That is sine a minus b. Sine a minus b, that is sine a times cosine b minus cosine a times sine b. So let us simplify. Let's have sine a, that is 2 pi over 3 minus b, that is pi over 6. And let's have sine a, that is sine 2 pi over 3 and cosine b is cosine pi over 6 minus cosine a that is cosine 2 pi over 3 and sine b that is sine pi over 6. We all know that pi over 6 that is 30 degrees and 2 pi over 3 that is 120 degrees. And 120 degrees is located in quadrant 2. And the reference angle in quadrant 2 is 180 degrees minus the given angle which is 120 degrees. That is 60 degrees. Now, sine 2 pi over 3 that is 120 degrees. That is 60 degrees. So let's have square root of 3 over 2. And Cosine pi over 6, that is 30 degrees. Cosine 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 2. Then we have minus cosine 2 pi over 3, that is cosine 120 degrees in quadrant 2, that is negative 1 half, times sine pi over 6, that is 30 degrees, that is also 1 half. So let us simplify. Square root of 3 times square root of 3, that is square root of 9. And the square root of 9 is 3. Then 2 times 2 is 4. Minus negative 1 times 1, that is negative 1. Over 2 times 2 is 4. So let us simplify. Let's have 3 over 4. Negative times negative is positive 1 fourth. Therefore, 3 over 4 plus 1 over 4, that is 1. So this will be the value of sine 2 pi over 3 minus pi over 6. And we all know that 2 pi over 6 is 120 minus pi over 6, that is 30. 120 minus 30, that is 90 degrees. And sine 90 degrees is 1. So therefore, we come up with the same answer. On example number 4, we have sine pi pi over 12 since pi pi over 12 is not located in a unit circle. Let us convert first pi pi over 12 into degrees. So let's have pi pi over 12 multiplied by 180 degrees over pi. And we can cancel pi. And let's have 5 times 180 degrees over 12. 180 degrees divided by 12, that is 15 degrees. And 15 degrees times 5, that is 75 degrees degrees and this will be the value of pi pi over 12 in degrees therefore sine pi pi over 12 is same as sine 75 degrees and what are the two numbers that we can add or subtract in order for us to get 75 degrees and that is 45 degrees and 30 degrees if we are going to add 45 degrees and 30 degrees, we can get 75 degrees. Therefore, we are going to use the formula sine A plus B. Sine A plus B, that is sine A times cosine B plus cosine A times sine B. And sine A, that is 
sine 45 degrees plus 30 degrees and this will be the value of a and the value of p sine a that is sine 45 degrees cosine b that is cosine 30 degrees plus cosine a that is cosine 45 degrees and sine b that is sine 30 degrees sine 45 degrees that is square root of 2 over 2 cosine 30 degrees that is square root of 3 over 2 plus cosine 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2 and sine 30 degrees is 1 half so let us simplify square root of 2 times square root of 3 that is square root of 6 over 2 times 2 is 4 plus square root of 2 times 1 that is square root of 2 over 2 times 2 is 4 since we are adding fraction with the same denominator let us copy the denominator and let's add or rewrite square root of 6 plus square root of 2 therefore the value of sine 75 or sine 5 pi over 12 that is square root of 6 plus square root of 2 over 4 and this will be our answer on number 5, we have sine 110 degrees times cosine 25 degrees plus cosine 110 degrees times sine 25 degrees. So as you can see, the given example is written in the form of sine A times cosine B plus cosine A times sine B. Therefore, we can say that we are going to use sine a plus b and the value of a that is 110 degrees and the value of b is 25 degrees so therefore let's have sine 110 degrees plus 25 degrees that is sine 135 degrees and 135 degrees is located in quadrant 2 and the reference angle in quadrant 2 is 180 degrees minus the given angle in quadrant 2 that is 180 degrees minus the given angle that is 135 therefore 180 minus 135 is 45 degrees and sine 45 degrees in quadrant 2 is square root of 2 over 2 and this will be our answer on the last example we have sine 80 degrees times cosine 20 degrees minus cosine 80 degrees times sine 20 degrees so this time the equation is written in the form of sine a times cosine b minus cosine a times sine b and we are going to use the formula sine a minus b and the value of A is 80 degrees and the value of B is 20 degrees. Therefore, sine 80 degrees minus 20 degrees, that is sine 60 degrees. And sine 60 degrees is square root of 3 over 2. And this will be our answer. So I hope you will learn from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.